Hi everyone. Well, <laughs> that was a bit of an exciting uh, walk. Um, the signal and sound wasn't as good as, as we would have liked it, but obviously it was our first try. And uh, yeah, the content was pretty amazing, I'd say. Peter handled it extremely well, I thought. What do you think? Uh, yes, well, <laughs> I mean, uh, at the end of the day, everything's fine. He's okay. Herman's okay. Uh, they haven't come back yet. I'm sure that when they do get back, they'll pop in and we can all we can all share with you what it feels like to, to have gone through that. I, I, I don't know what to say other than, holy cow, that, is, that was terrifying. Um, but yes, he did handle it well. And um, I guess at the end of the day, that's what matters. Yeah, no, definitely, definitely, and he obviously really enjoyed it, um, but yeah, it was a bit of a, a scary moment. So anyway, Graham and I are going to take the chat this morning, um, hopefully Peter and Herman will pop in when they get back. Um, uh, as you can see, the water hole is quieter than quiet. Today has been an extraordinary change in weather. Yesterday it was 38 to 40 degrees, today it's really, really windy, much colder and overcast. So I'm not sure whether we're heading for much needed rain, which would be good. Um, but anyway, we'll wait for your questions uh, coming in on the WeChat. For anybody that's just switched on, um, to get onto WeChat, you have to go onto um, wildearth.tv and click on the social network. And then under We Shows, you'll see a show called WeChat, which is this show right now. And um, under there, you'll see a chat space. And you'll be able to just chat away with everybody, ask us any questions, uh, anything you want. And we'll, we'll, we'll be here for the next hour. I can see that um, we've got a whole bunch of us in there. So hello to everybody that's, uh, that's joining us in chat. And I see that um, Karen is saying, ha ha, they are still in shock, which yes, we are still in shock. Um, also, you'll notice that um, we, I woke up pretty early this morning and I didn't have a chance to go and have a shower or anything, so my hair's all over the place. I apologize for being so unpresentable to you this morning. But uh, last night when uh, Em and I came, uh, came down after the night drive, uh, we, uh, we chased a bunch of baboons off of the, uh, off of the tower. And when, they did, when we chased them off, they, they, they damaged the cable. Uh, so this morning, Pete woke me up very early so that I could climb the mast and uh, go and sort out the baboon's damage, which we did, which is why we managed to get a, a, a morning drive this morning with, um, with Simon and Texan. It was Simon's first one, uh, first drive. Um, and uh, yeah, so here we go. We've got a question here for Emily. Who's it from? I can't see. Vicky. It's from Vicky. Vicky Lord. I'm feeling fine. Yeah, I'm feeling really, uh, it's starting to feel uncomfortable. Um, I've, I'm due on November the 10th, so which is exactly two months, really. And um, yeah, it's been a perfect pregnancy up until now, and, and it's still good, but I'm really starting to feel the strain. I'm much more tired, and I've got quite bad swollen ankles and, and, and wrists. And this, unfortunately, is going to be my, uh, my, my last trip to the bush before the baby. Um, I've been told that I should, shouldn't really be so far from Johannesburg just in the last two months. So yeah, this is my last time here. But no, I'm genuinely feeling good. Thanks for asking, Vicky. You look great, Graham. He said that. <laughs> Vicky thinks you look great. <laughs> look. Okay, well, it's a little quiet at the, at the waterhole this morning, which is um, not surprising uh, in view of the fact that uh, the weather has uh, definitely turned a little nasty. Um, there's uh, there's predictions of large amounts of rain coming off of a front from the Indian Ocean. Um, although that rain probably will only fall along the escarpment, uh, which is uh, I was about to say behind us, but uh, but it's uh, it's to our west, uh, about 70 kilometres to our west, um, which is I guess what about 50 miles, and I think it's going to miss us, which is unfortunate because we could certainly do with the rain. Now have a look around next to this waterhole; it is so so dry. It really really is. Um, I see that uh, Ruth over here got up really early. And I'm glad that you think it was worth it, Ruth. Um, uh, we're supposed to do a walk every weekday uh, at 9.30 a.m. Uh, and I must say that if we do that, which we will, uh, it will probably shorten my life expectancy quite significantly. I hope that we never, ever, ever have another incident like our first walk. Uh, obviously, you know, now that it all worked out okay, and I, I'm sure that it, it, it was always going to, Peter looked very relaxed, but... Uh, Wow, um, 
let's uh, I hope that doesn't happen again. I bet you Peter's going to come back and he's going to say, no, that was absolutely nothing. I've had that loads of times before. It's just the Ellie telling us who's boss. And he's probably right. Just for Graham, I mean, I've never been in a situation like that. And, and obviously being responsible, being sitting here and feeling powerless, it was, it was a bit scary, but I don't know. We'll let Peter tell you, but I bet you he's going to say it wasn't that bad. Are you going to chew Peter out? No, no, not at all. Peter's very responsible. Peter's uh, got more knowledge of walking into animals than anybody I know, so no, we're not going to chew him out at all. <laughs> what else? Probably end up thanking him for making sure that uh, Herman survived and, uh, and that he survived, but uh, not chew him out. Uh, both Emily and I, well, I think more than me, I, I've had a few nasty experiences filming animals uh, uh, around the world. Uh, one in particular incident in, in the Okavango doing um, a film for Animal Planet where uh, we were attacked by a hippo. And unfortunately our presenter um, was, uh, was very badly attacked. Uh, her leg was, 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 was bitten. She had 23 operations uh, of, uh, to... to to sort it out, um, and even then, I don't think it was really properly sorted out. Um, but uh, but that was terrifying. And I must say, this morning, on that walk, watching watching what happened, I, I really it, it felt like that same incident all over again. So my heart rate is still all over the place. Hi, Rose. Welcome, welcome to the chat room. And um, people. yeah, and uh, and uh, uh, says that we should turn off the sound oh, from. Oh, well done. You see, that's what. Well done. Thank you, Anne, for that. Um, well, guys, I guess um, I guess there's not really a, there's not really a lot happening out there on the waterhole. I see that there's still a small amount of uh, a small bit of dirt on that uh, on that lens. You can actually see it if we if we move the camera. You can actually see how it moved. There we go. It's in the middle of the water over there. Well, not the middle, but off in the water. That's definitely something that we're going to have to sort out. Someone's going to have to take a walk down there and sort that out. And uh, hopefully we'll, uh, we'll get that going. I'll tell you what I can do while we're waiting to see... Um, oh, we've got a question here. Question. How, how can I go back to sleep early to charge me? <laughs> yeah. No, I know. Well, I, I, I guess, uh, I guess uh, having an early charge will keep you awake a little longer. <laughs> and... Uh, uh, there's uh, what have you got here? Uh, yeah, clear. You're right. Uh, when Peter's in charge, I agree. We are in good hands, and uh, and and there's and I mean Peter's got a lot of respect for elephants, and he's got a lot of understanding for them. Um, I must say, I'm 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 pretty scared of elephants. I love elephants, but they're 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 scary. They're really 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 big, and particularly when you're standing in front of it and it's bearing down on you, uh, it, they get even bigger um, very quickly. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, um, anyway, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you a little bit around the tree. I know that uh, it's not probably as exciting as an elephant charge, but uh, while we're here, we can, uh, we can have a look at it. There's, uh, there's camera two. Camera two was installed, uh, gee, I don't know, uh, about three months ago by James Taylor. Originally, camera two was at Bifflesook Dam, but um, due to uh, elephant problems, actually, and a few other things, but elephants, it definitely, uh, it definitely resulted in us deciding to move both cameras over to Gauri. Uh, up above, up above the, uh, the 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 camera, you can see on the left hand side there, you can see the um, the buffalo the buffalo weaver nests. Now those are old buffalo weaver nests because the buffalo weavers moved into uh, the mast, um, which is uh, which is a little bit unfortunate, but better than baboons. Then on the right hand side, and that's as high up as I can move this camera, which is camera one, obviously. But uh, you can see a um, a white thing up up higher up. That's the uh, microphone. Uh, that's the microphone for. Let me. You can hear it. There we go. That's that microphone, that white one. Um, and uh, above the microphone are four infrared lights. Those are the infrared lights that come on um, at, uh, at night. And, uh, and then above that, you can't quite see it, is the white light, which uh, is there for, for, the, for, the, um, for the guests who sit at the BOMA, at the lodge, to be able to see. And there's Emily and I. Again, <laughs> okay. So, uh, so what else have we got here? 